Hi Pisces, this is Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. And this is going to be what are their true intentions in love, Pisces. Alright, yeah, this is what this reading is about. So this is about you and anybody you are uh, connected with romantically. You could be living together, living apart, etc., etc. Okay, so let's see what we have for Pisces and their person. And these have been shuffled uh, ample, I feel like they have. I hope you guys are all doing well, in case you didn't say that. Let's see what we have for Pisces and their person. The bottom of the deck, Five of Pentacles. Pisces, you could be leaving your person, right? You could totally be leaving them out in the cold. This card is, you know, clearly, uh, it's pretty evident what's going on there. Let's see. Let's go ahead and cut the cards. Did I cut the cards? I don't think I did. Right now, Pisces, look at your energy. It is the Seven of Pentacles. You're trying to uh, make up your mind or... It, you might not even be trying to make up your mind, but you're evaluating something, right? Yeah, you're assessing something. Crossing you, the hangman reverse, that's you. You're showing up in the reverse. Queen of Swords reversed. The Hierophant. I feel like you are. You could be married to somebody and you're thinking of leaving them, like divorce. Mm -hmm. Maybe you've already done that. But I feel like you were thinking about that. Mm -hmm. And you could be, you could feel Queen of Swords reversed, uh, Pisces. There could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here, but, right, but the Queen of Swords reversed is somebody who can be really scorned, yeah, so let's see, let's look at their energy, the Emperor, the High Priestess, I feel like that's you, could be, and in their desire that your person could be unhappy right now, or feel rejected, or maybe they want to reject you, it could be, but somebody's leaving somebody else out, right, we saw that, so let's see what you are, what's on your mind here. I feel like it's about money. It could be Seven of Pentacles. He's looking right at the Pentacles. Queen of Cups, here you are. And the Five of Wands. All right, so right now you feel challenged. I feel like you feel challenged financially. That could be the case. Let's get some Oracle cards from the Tea Leaf. Mm-hmm. See what we got for Pisces and their person. The Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. You could be dealing with somebody who is very aggressive here. Stubborn, wow. And then you have the Whale, great worry over nothing. Okay, Pisces, this is for you. Even though this is a joint reading, I feel like that great worry card, I feel like you are worried. This is why you are being challenged and you are looking uh, so very intently at that bush full of money, right? I feel like you could be looking at your financial uh, state or financial future. You could be thinking about it here. You could. Because uh, that Five of Pentacles card at the bottom of the deck is like, uh, there's an ending here. Yeah, there's some type of ending. Why is the whale there for, why is that whale there? Why is Pisces, why is Pisces and the person has a whale, please? Okay, we're going to take this. It flipped around. Wealth. And these are, I'm not really sure what they are. <laughs> uh, maybe they were signs of wealth uh, in, uh, maybe in other centuries. Uh, I guess, I mean, I'm not really sure what they are. They don't really look like coins. Maybe that's how coins looked back in the day. The tent, temporary, temporary situation. So there's a temporary situation here. I feel like it is about worry. Don't worry. And you could be dealing with somebody stubborn. I feel like you're concerned about your wealth. I feel like that's why that card is there. Maybe that's why these don't look like coins. They have holes in the be in the middle of them. You could be worried you're going to lose money. Because mm -hmm. those are not coins and they are not bullion. No, they are not, you guys. All right. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see why you have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Why does Pisces have that card? And are these in the reverse? I'm terrible. The Empress is in the reverse. There's a third party here. Wheel of Fortune could be a Sagittarian for sure. Five of Swords, yep. Third party energy here. Somebody is being like, uh, somebody could be being mean, this aggressive, stubborn person. This could be somebody who is kind of like, you know, the, all they care about is themselves, right? This man, clearly, all he cares about is himself. He's, he's taking their swords and he has a smirk on his face. Yeah, there's a little bit sinister energy there. 
That's kind of a harsh word, sinister, but I can't really think of a, a better one. Uh, and what you want, I feel like you want your marriage. Let's see, though. Why is that Hierophant there? Why does Pisces or Taurus? Seven of Swords. Wow. Six of Cups. Somebody from the past. Temperance. So we already saw the Wheel of Fortune here. You want somebody from the past, or you want somebody maybe to be... Let's see. This is incomplete, I feel. This has to do with your marriage. Seven of Swords and the Hierophant. And somebody is from the past here. I feel like this is a third party. Why is that Temperance card there? Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you want money here. You want financial stability. Okay, so the World card is in the reverse. You could want somebody to like close the door on somebody else. I feel like there's unfinished business here when we see the world card in the reverse. This could be saying, instead of you wanting a new beginning, like you could be wanting a new beginning for yourself and the world card reverse, you could want your person to end it with somebody else and have a new beginning with you. I feel like that's what it is. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is a stubborn person and you. I feel like you're, you're going through a breakup with them. Yeah, that Five of Pentacles reversed. You're going through a breakup with them, and I feel like, you know, you could want them, I feel like you want them to walk away from this third-party person. Let's get one more card. Why is the world there for Pisces? Queen of Pentacles, your person could be Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. The Justice card, wow. Justice and the Hierophant. See, this is a marriage. Three of Pentacles. I feel like you want to work it out with your person and you want your person to like leave this third party alone. Let's have a look. Let's look at their energies and see. And see. You could be wanting money as well. Like you could be married to somebody. Yeah, because the wealth card is here and it's next to the great worry over nothing. I feel like you're worried that you're going to lose money in a, in, a, in a marriage. Yeah. Or a divorce, rather. Yeah. Why is the emperor there with the high priestess? Eight of Cups. This is your person's walking away. Yeah. You want them to walk away from the other person, not you. I feel like that's what it is. I feel like this is you, Pisces. And your person, if they have the emperor, if they are not an Aries, they are stubborn. The emperor is stubborn and controlling. He calls the shots, right? If he has his beard that long, he doesn't give a shit about how he looks, all right? <laughs> then, of course, he, he like he's calling the shots, right? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let's look at the Six of Pentacles. Why is that there? Why is that there? Ace of Pentacles. Your person wants an ending and a new beginning. Wow. This is a hard read, and I feel like, I feel like, uh, yeah. And they are, your person is either an earth sign, they could be a Sagittarian, they could be a Libra, but they could be Virgo, uh, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or Aries, Leo, or Sag. Why is it Four of Cups there? Why is that there? And this is why, for them, the reason? Oh, okay, so this is what they want, I beg your pardon. They're carrying a burden here. They're unhappy. Your person is unhappy. Wow. We're going to find out. Hopefully you did this stuff to them. All right? Because I don't like it when somebody walks away from somebody to go with somebody else. And they're unhappy. All right? I'm being totally subjective. <laughs> uh, it, it, let's see. We're going to go over to Vimeo to find out all about your person, uh, Pisces. And, uh, yeah, this is a little, it's a little, it's a tough read, but this reading could be switched. Right? It could. Because this is how the general readings go. Thanks so much for joining me. If you guys want to see the reading over there, uh, we're going to expose your person. Yeah, we are. I'm going to call them out. And we're going to talk about the underlying energies and how they feel about you, Pisces. Yeah, it's going to tell me uh, if the reading is switched, right? That's like a good indicator. And the challenges, blocks, what they could be hiding from you, what they are fearing, and their true intentions. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here today. They're all super affordable. Yep, 
and please remember to like, share, and subscribe.